Now that you have got the data that you need to put on this note, it's now going to be a case of adding this statement to the graph and then including the data that is in here. So the first thing I'm going to do is just select my selection tool. I've already got my selection tool available, so that's OK. Select copy. If you haven't got your selection tool available, then right hand click select tool. So I've now copied that text and I'm going to go to my graph and we now need to add the text in here. Now in order to get the data from the other part of the spreadsheet, from the leasing model worksheet, we need to put this in as a data value. Now normally when you add a data value, it's adding the data values to this part of the graph. And if I was to right hand click here and add data labels, you can see it puts in all of these figures, which is not what I want to achieve. I only want one of them to appear. I'm just going to undo that. Now, if I click on this once and click again, it doesn't really matter where I put it. You see now I just get one selection. So I can now add my data label. Here it is, £2.26. That's going to be deleted in a minute what's in it. Oh, I seem to have missed it that time. Let's make sure we get the actual data label itself moved. There we go. And I'm going to delete that and paste in there what I've just copied. Okay, so that is the data. Now what I need to do now is link where I've got some of these values, such as additional cost. I need to link those now into the data from the worksheet. So for the additional cost, what we do is we right hand click and we're going to insert a data label field. I choose data label field and it's going to be a cell. So I select the reference, so I click on leasing model, choose the additional cost, click on OK. It will now put that in for me. And notice I've got this erroneous pound sign, so let's just get rid of that, even an extra space. So this will involve an extra. Let's show what the extra payment is going to be. Now, not the extra payment, but the number of different payments. So again, we right hand click, insert data label field, a cell, go to leasing model, additional number of payments for, or it's whatever's in J5. Over a period of, let's change the number of years, Right hand click, difficult making sure we get the right hand click in the correct place. Sell, go to leasing model, choose our number of years. And then we can choose our number of months. So we'll just delete that. Need an extra space in there. Try and get in the middle of those. and choose sell again, go back to leasing model, number of months. Let's make sure that looks right. That's brilliant. Save that and print it. And that's completed. And that's actually the whole of task three completed. What we'll do is we'll just check this works. I'm just going to put in some different variables in here. Um, now, if we recall these values here were our variables. So let's change this to three years. Let's put in 6%. And let's put in 20,000. Now let's have a look at our graph. See our graph has changed and our data has changed here. So we know that it's working. Of course, I need to just undo what I've just done because I might need to go back and print things. So just be careful if you are making changes. Of course, I would hope that you keep regularly saving your spreadsheet with different file names so that you can always go back to somewhere that you left off. Well done if you've got this far and you'll be moving on to the database soon.